In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals x squared take away 9 over x take away 1. Now, that numerator can factorise difference of two squares to x take away 3, x plus 3. That's over x take away 1. OK. Right, vertical asymptotes first. That's when the denominator is 0, so that's when x equals 1. So x equals 1. Right, then we've got where it crosses the x-axis. That's when the numerator is 0, so that's at 3 and minus 3. So 3 and minus 3. Now, how about where it crosses the y-axis? Now, that's when x is 0, so we get minus 9 over minus 1, which is positive 9. So, somewhere up here. And how about the oblique asymptote? OK, so we can divide x squared by... x squared take away 9 divided by x take away 1. So, x take away 1. We want the x squared, so that's got to be x. That's got to be minus x. So we don't want any x's, so that's got to be x. x into x go once. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. We want minus 9, so we're going to have to take away 8. So that's my remainder. And so this is equal to x plus 1, take away 8 over x, take away 1. So the oblique asymptote is at y equals x plus 1. Right. So something like that. Let me just move that to there. So that's at minus 1, and that's at 1. OK. So that means that the curve must do something like this. Now, we should check whether the curve crosses the oblique asymptote. So we're going to put the x squared take away 9 over x take away 1 equal to x plus 1. So multiply out both sides by the x take away 1. We get x squared take away 9 is equal to x squared take away 1. So difference of two squares there. The x squares cancel from both sides, and that would mean that minus 9 would have to be equal to minus 1, which it clearly isn't. Okay, And so the curve doesn't cross that oblique asymptote. So we must be coming down from here through 9. That wasn't particularly good through minus 3 and then 10 towards that asymptote and through the 3 and down that way. So it's a particularly strange looking graph this one um, but that is what the curve must look like using all the techniques that we have available to us um, to show that.